Hello, my name is Thomas Milsom and welcome to Cooking in Squalor. Today we're cooking pink bow ties, but unfortunately we don't have a Whole Foods. I've got associated supermarkets here. I wouldn't trust this place to buy fresh fish if my life depended on it. Fresh herbs are great. Here they refer to them as special produce. Sometimes it's hard to find the red onion I wouldn't be embarrassed to serve to my cat, but you really shouldn't give onions to your cat. I'm gonna go with uh, the old Oscar Mayer. It's America's favorite. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to the building, an East Harlem tenement that was built probably in the 1880s for a, an upper middle class that never arrived. Well, I arrived. This is where I throw things out. All of it, mine. And welcome to my oasis. Well, we've got all our ingredients. Let me list them off for you. Bacon, one large or two medium-sized nasty onions, bread, some rosemary, and a little of that special produce, thyme. These four ingredients make up the sauce of the wood. Crushed tomatoes, the bow ties, one of the finest ingredients anywhere, half and half. Now, the first thing I like to do when I make pasta is boil water. Now, don't believe what they tell you. Cold water doesn't boil faster. It's a wives' tale. Is that sexist? I don't care. Second, we want to salt the water and be super liberal about it. Now, the biggest pain in the ass is definitely picking time. Shoot can be more bitter, so stick with the leaves. And who doesn't like rosemary? Um, maybe I heard of somebody, but don't quote me on that. You know, they're always telling you that you need the sharpest set of chef's knives imaginable. You know, I kind of am going to call BS on that. Of course, it's better to have a sharp one. And I was never a professional chef, so some of my techniques might not look like they're straight out of the CIA. But I've got a pretty good one for cutting onions, especially the uh, nasty ones from across the street. I lop off both ends. And that'll uh, usually produce two or three layers of nasty, moldering, dry, scaly onion. You take those off, and eventually, somewhere under there, is a semblance of a digestible onion. Voila. Then, cut that in half. And I'll just start going across here with my semi-sharp knife. I swear one of these days I'm going to get a bigger cutting board. But I don't live in squalor for no reason. <laughs> well, now we've basically got everything chopped up. We've got about two onions chopped, uh, maybe half a cup of thyme picked. We have uh, maybe an eighth of a cup of rosemary chopped very finely, and some salt and pepper. <coughs> Next to godliness, this has been sitting out a little bit, so. Which is a good idea with most meats to uh, leave them out to room temperature right before you're about to cook them. It makes a difference. I'm sorry, bacon make me happy. It just makes me happy, okay? Don't tell me not to be how I am, which is loving the bacon. Gorgeous. Without putting any heat or into this skillet here, I'm just gonna dump right on in. Turn it on about medium. Now, while we're waiting for the bacon to really get sizzling, this is a time that you really ought to take out for yourself. You know, inhale a couple of times, exhale a couple of times more, and really think about the stuff that matters. You know, call up a friend, um, go see a movie, a really short one. Um, do the things that you normally don't take time to do because you feel like, I don't have any room for that in my schedule. Do that now. And then when the bacon's brown, stop doing that. Say what you will about the South as well. They know how to flavor things. And that's bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Gotta love it. Right here we're getting pretty close to uh, wanting to add the second ingredient of the sauce of the wood, which is the red onion. So I'm gonna say that's about enough right there. Let's say half the time. The smell is about to erupt in about a minute. It's going to really congeal. 
and then erupt, and then emulsify, and then explode. Here it is, the sauce of the wood. Bacon, red onions, thyme, and rosemary. This is the essence. This is the juice of the wood. This is the juice of the sauce of the wood. Even as lip balm. You know? That's gonna set up in the fridge. And, you know, it's gonna make a pretty hearty lip balm. Okay, it's just about time to add in crushed tomatoes. Letting it all get together there. Letting it all get together. Right about now is a good point to put the pasta in. Now for the star of the show, half and half. Lord, I love half and half. I love bacon, but I wouldn't live alone with her. This is where it all gets pink, baby. This is where it all gets pink. Mm. Excuse me, <laughs> I was just enjoying a Modelo. Mm. Delicious, viable pasta. And you don't need hours and a huge cauldron. Well, except for this one. For the finale. Sauce goes in. We've got you a bunch of delicious coated bastards. There you go. And here's the finished product. Pink bow ties made from the sauce of the wood. Mmm. Invited some friends to enjoy my pink bow ties made from the sauce of the wood. It's gonna be good. You know, when you cook, don't forget the friends. It's what it's for. Bon appetit, everyone. Thanks, Associated. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <sighs>